choice. So I'm just hoping that it's gonna it's gonna you know change and they will come to their senses and they will do what's right. Um, but if not, then he will be on school. A court hearing Friday failed to get the requirement quashed. Attorney Nicole Pearson told us she will try again. At this time, we're telling parents, stay strong. Do not get the vaccine unless you believe your child should get the vaccine. In the meantime, until we can get back in court, they may not be able to participate in those extracurricular activities, but just let them know that people uh, do care about them and are fighting for them. So what's happening now? Typically, extracurricular sports also fulfill a PE class requirement. Sandler cited an email from Birmingham High that even unvaccinated athletes should still go for their PE credit. So, if you can go to the practice to get a PE, you know, credit, but he's not allowed to practice and compete, nobody will give the answer. Yeah, we're talking about children here. These are really important relationships and connections uh, that they are establishing right now, and they've been ripped away yet again. And so the debate goes on. So among the issues uh, coming up, we're waiting for the count from LAUSD on what the compliance rate was and exactly what the immediate consequences are. Now, this becomes a much broader issue in three weeks. That's the deadline for all LAUSD students to get their over age 12, I should add, to get their first dose and then be fully vaccinated over age 12 when school resumes again after the uh, New Year holiday. And again, the debate continues. Many of those saying that LAUSD should be waiting for full approval, not just emergency use, which is what the state of California is waiting for with its vaccine mandate for kids. Reporting live from Birmingham High and Van Ives, Patrick Keeley, NBC4 News. All right, Patrick, thank you. And the CDC, by the way, set to review Pfizer's COVID vaccine for children age 5 to 11 tomorrow. The FDA gave its approval on Friday, saying the benefits of the vaccination outweigh its risks. Pfizer says its vaccine proved to be nearly 91% effective at preventing symptomatic illness in children. If the CDC okays the vaccine, kids could start getting those shots within a matter of days. Moderna's push to get its COVID vaccine approved for teenagers is on hold, at least for now. The company says the FDA needs more time to study the vaccine for children 12 to 17. The review may not be done before January. Moderna says the agency wants more time to study the risk of heart inflammation in children. Now, this comes just days after the FDA approved Pfizer's vaccine for children ages 5 to 11. An online man charged with attacking an American Airlines flight attendant on a plane from New York to...